Hey everyone, so <clears throat> hadn't really planned on doing a video today, but Sarah's really not feeling up to it. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a little update, but also kind of a, <laughs> don't fall down, kind of a, um, a, a, a follow-up. A lot of people have asked, uh, what are some ways uh, that we can help Sarah? And and not the financial ways. Um, everybody that has been able to donate and support and watch videos and ads and stuff, that's super appreciated. But something I came across today uh, was a list she made for when she created her bucket list video a while back. And, <clears throat> and I broke down when I read it. And uh, a couple of things on there were to travel to New Zealand and uh, go up to Chena Hot Springs in Alaska and um, and see the Northern Lights from there. That's always been like the Northern Lights from Chena Hot Springs specifically has always been something that we've wanted to do since we lived in Alaska. And uh, um, don't know if that'll be a reality. Uh, hope it will be. But what I was thinking is we have a P.O. box. It's in the description of this video. I'm going to put it right here too. And I was wondering if you guys would be willing to send postcards. You don't have to put your return address on it. Um, send postcards to our P.O. box. And I want to use that to give Sarah a world tour. Kind of a, a little vacation. And... Um, We'll pin them up all over our bedroom walls or tape them on the windows or something. Something cool so it's it's right there. Um, and it doesn't have to be New Zealand. It doesn't have to be the Northern Lights. Anywhere. Anywhere. Because it's something that we've wanted to do is, is travel. We love the outdoors. We love um, adventuring new places. Like, we aren't real big, like, go into the city and do stuff. But when we go somewhere new, like it's always exciting to, to check that new place out. So even when we went to NIH, right, we went and kind of explored DC and, and, and so just anywhere. So postcards, uh, would be awesome. Pictures of beautiful places. Um, all the places that you guys are from, I think that'd be, that'd be just a really, really cool gift. Um, so yeah, the, the P.O. Box is, like I said, in the description of pretty much all of our videos. It's on our website, and uh, it's going to be plastered on the screen um, as well. I uh, covered the camera. So that's uh, that's one thing. Um, one other thing, just I keep covering with like my hand. <laughs> Normally I have a tripod. Um, one other thing that, that my mom uh, looked up uh, was some of the side effects of Keppra. And that's the anti-seizure medicine that she's on right now. And this is going to be a big discussion when we go in to have our appointment with her oncologist. But um, some of the side effects are, are very much some of the things that I've been noticing that I mentioned. You know, the kind of the distant, the detached, uh, um, struggling to um, display emotions. Like she can say that she has these emotions, but... Like actually, them coming out is 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 not happening right now, um, and then that slower thought process and stuff like that. So um, it kind of gave me a different different sense of hope and kind of some like positive excitement when she when she reached out with some of that. Um, so there's there's always worse cases, but that's one of the <laughs> the side effects of a medication is. Uh, a much better issue to have than the episode that she had actually causing something long term on her brain, right? So it's kind of kind of a <laughs> I'm 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 hoping that when we have our discussion with her oncologist that we can kind of discuss do can we down the dosage on that or um, can we nix it? Um, and I, I briefly had a conversation with Sarah about nixing it. Uh, but, you know, there's the concern of actually having seizures and having those symptoms come back, uh, the stroke-like symptoms. So it's uh, something I'm thinking about uh, a lot right now and trying to figure out. But um, that kind of gave me a happier feeling today than I've had, you know, um, having gone to work this morning and Braden watching his mom and 
uh, me breaking down at work and, you know, by just the amaze, just how amazing the team that I work with is and how supportive they're, they're being of me. Uh, it's just freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, definitely broke down at work a couple times, small breakdowns. Um, and then the last thing I was going to do a short video, guys, this is supposed to be short. <laughs> the last thing is, uh, is taking care of myself. You know, I'm taking care of the kids. I'm taking care of Sarah. I'm coordinating family and all that stuff. And, and so I'm doing some things to make sure I'm taking care of myself. One, I'm taking time. Um, Brayden's jumping in so I can uh, go for walks if I need to, um, which is really helpful for me. Uh, Amelia's around to help out with the kiddos as well. Uh, I've, I've asked family, this is, I, I hate asking for help. I asked family if they'll come out this weekend to help clean up and do some yard work. You guys, my yard is insane right now. And, and, um, so I'm hoping, and they've already said, a lot of them <laughs> said, yeah. So kind of a, a yard work cleaning party this weekend, but, um, I'm definitely taking time to myself. I'm, I'm taking time to like watch a TV show, stuff like that, just to, uh, just to have something different on my mind because it's it's taxing a lot of you guys know understand how taxing being a caregiver is and uh i'm tired not zombie tired but definitely like like drained i i sleep well at night let's put it that way sleep really well so um brayden's got a baseball game tomorrow so hope everybody will be cheering him on. And I just looked up in my bedroom window and I see the baby up there, which means she's not in bed like I put her. So that means <laughs> end of this video. Love you all. Thank you all for the support. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. And uh, um, one of us will, will do another video tomorrow to, to keep you posted on how things are going, how we're doing, how the family is. So like I said, love you all. Thank you.